Hello, my name is Pratiksha Rao and I had done my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunications. Uh, right now, I'm going to USA for pursuing my master's in electrical and computer engineering. Uh, that's at Sonoma State University, which is again in Fremont, California. Uh, talking about how do I got to know about grad dream. So uh, it got to know about uh, from my cousin brother, who is actually a sponsor for me as well. Uh, he did uh, in the year I believe it was 2005 to six. So it was almost like 14 years back, and that is where I got a preference of grad dreams. Talking about like how was the process at the grad dreams when I was having a uh, communication with the advisors. So to be very frank, uh, it was uh, the other way around. Like when students are approaching for higher studies, it is like students responsibility to have the follow ups and get all the things done. But then I believe in my case, it was the reverse order. Where my advisor was every time following up with me to, you know, do all the process, whatever was been required, like uh, selecting the universities then or uh, whatever the other prompts or the next steps have been required. For that, I would uh, really give kudos to her that she has been made sure that everything was on time for me. I had never missed a thing. There were here and there few of the things by which I did left few things, but then it did got covered up. And that was the main important, uh, you know, uh, I would say aspect. I believe I started in uh, around November, which was again for me a short period of time. And I was actually very nervous, like whether I would be able to, you know, get into the fall 2023. But then somehow it did got along. I uh, gave my IELTS, which was just because of Priya ma'am. She is the one uh, who has, you know, like made it very easy, I would say for us. Then there was GRE again, which was a little tough for me because getting all the mathematics from standard one to standard 10. And then, you know, going all through about the formulas and what. Uh, but then no, on the other end, I believe it is easy. It's not that hard also. I, I would say, uh, to be very frank, it's just all about the English. It's not actually about more on grammar also. It's just that how fluent you are, how understood, uh, how the meanings you understood of the English, you know, phrases or sentences, whatever you make. So just be clear with your English. Nothing else is in uh, there to have a fear of IELTS. Even GRE, I would say there are uh, some tips and tricks which are to be followed. You can get it from the online and that how it helps you to, you know, clear your GRE as well. Uh, mine was a low score. So that's not something which I would, you know, say as demotivation or something. But then, yeah, the other people, they could have more time and then they could get it cleared. I was having little time and that's the way I couldn't get more time to focus on it. Also, I was working. Uh, I was working from Monday to Friday. It was just two days, that is Saturday and Sunday, where I used to get time for all of these things. And last but not the least, again, my advisor, I would say, that's Mayuri. She has literally made the whole process very smooth for me. And kudos to her. And thank you so much, Dream.